Hello everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my first video and I normally don't do digital art. I am trying to get better at digital art, but um, I wanted to do traditional art like watercolor, but the first time I really tried to like sit down and record a video of me doing that, my camera fell and it broke the lens. So. Until I can afford a new lens, I'm going to just be doing um, digital art, I guess, unless I can get my iPhone to maybe record a good enough video. So I tried that too, but the quality was just crap, so I guess we'll see. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do for my first video was to talk about basically my experience because I did not start until recently and I don't think I'm good enough to really do like a tutorial or anything right now. Um, I wouldn't really know what to explain or anything that um, people couldn't find somewhere else done a lot better. So I just wanted to talk about how my art journey basically went and encourage people who are just trying out art for the first time no matter what your age if you're in your early teens or even if you're closer to my age like early to late 20s um then i guess this video is for you to kind of talk about like how to just get going and um, what you need to do to really um start on doing your art, I guess. That didn't make any sense, um, but here we go. So I think I knew I wanted to do art ever since I was really young, like elementary school. I really enjoyed drawing and everything. Um, and then kids in general, and I think I've heard this, I'm not sure where, I think it was on a podcast. Um, kids in general tend to not really care that their art is bad. They don't see it as bad. They just see it as I drew a thing and I like that I drew a thing. And they don't really focus on all the things that are wrong about it. And since they're like really young, um, obviously like teachers and parents and family and friends aren't gonna be like, well, this is what's wrong with this drawing. You know, you did a bad drawing. You need to practice to get better. You know, most people don't do that to children, like young children, like elementary school. Um, but once I reached maybe my preteens, I think, I might have been around like 10 or 11 when I went to a painting class. Um, I did a painting class and the only thing, it was like a one day kind of thing at a community center. And the only thing I really remember learning from that is whenever you're like cleaning off your paintbrush in the water, you don't want to just stir it around. You want to like, you know, really dig in there to get the paint out. And the, that's the only thing I remember from that class because when I showed it to my mom or my dad, they didn't really say like, oh, good job. You know, they weren't like, oh yeah, you just got to keep going. They were like, oh, okay, like that's nice. And then I, kind of drew again um, in uh, I would say maybe high school and I wasn't very good because I hadn't been drawing you know very often like I wasn't really encouraged and I don't really want to blame my parents for that um, I know it sounds like I am and I kind of am a tiny little bit but um I just was never really encouraged to draw and I wasn't the kind of person to do something unless I felt I was good at it or unless I was given the motivation to do it. Um, I just generally have not been very motivated and very much in my life except for singing because my mom liked to sing so of course that was what she encouraged me to do. Um, but anyway, so yeah I wasn't very good and I had a couple of friends who were like way better at drawing than I was in high school. And it really made me feel bad and like I wasn't good enough now. I wasn't at their level now. So I was probably never going to get better. And I took an 
art class my senior year of high school and I did not do very well in that class. I think I got a B, but um, in general, my work was just not nearly as good as my friend's work was. Theirs was absolutely phenomenal. Like we were supposed to draw a realistic portrait and one of my friends in the class Hers was super, super realistic, and mine was just not very good. And my other friend in the class, like, laughed at my drawing because it was so bad. And, like, looking back on it, it wasn't that bad considering I hadn't been drawing nearly as much as either of those two had been drawing. But, um, it was still pretty bad. Like, I don't know if my mom even still has it at my parents' house. Um, but I would be so embarrassed to look at it now. Like, I'm still really not that good at realistic portraits, but I have improved a tiny bit, and I just, I don't know, I'd be so embarrassed if I ever saw it again. But, um, so after I graduated high school, I still kind of drew a little bit, you know, every now and again, but I didn't really focus on it, and. In college, I wanted to take an art class, and you had to take, like, you know, whatever creative class was offered that you wanted to take, but I felt like I wasn't good enough to draw, and I decided that I would take a music history class instead because I felt I would get a better grade, and it wouldn't be embarrassing to have to show my art to other people that were most likely going to be really good because if you're taking an art class in college like chances are you're going to major in it or chances are you're already pretty good at drawing so i didn't want to have to like put myself out there and really be judged on how much worse my art was than other people around me and i kind of gave up drawing again like I don't know I want to say that I've been drawing like tiny cutesy little like maybe like chibi things or anime style things like on and off for pretty much my whole life but I decided to try to get serious about drawing when I was about maybe 23 because I would go to like anime conventions and see all of the people in the artist alleys and I wanted to do that so bad and I just I couldn't so I had to practice but I would draw and it would not be good and I would be like well I guess I shouldn't do that anymore and even my background like um, my family in general just had the kind of mindset of like well if you're not good at it then like you're either you're either born good at it or you're born okay at it and you can get better or you're just born not being able to do it so I figured I was born not being able to draw and that I could maybe improve a little bit but I would never be good enough to actually like sell anything so I kind of gave up on that and but then again like I said at around 23 24 maybe um, I decided you know what I'm gonna do it and I once again, I drew for a little while, maybe even maybe even a year, but I, I just never, I wasn't drawing every day. I wasn't trying to draw things realistically or from life. I was just kind of drawing like cutesy little doodles and I wasn't getting any better. I didn't know why, so I figured I just couldn't get better until finally I decided at maybe, oh gosh, 27 or 28, I decided, you know what, I want to be an artist and I want to specifically be a graphic designer. Um, like for a career, I want to get into making posters and making prints and doing graphic design and, you know, maybe, maybe try and do for like career viability, is that the right word? Um, go into graphic design because you're more likely to get a job and make money doing that. Um, but I definitely do want to do like, you know, an Etsy shop and like sell stickers and stuff. And 
I took an art class at my local community college at the time and it was an intro to art and I did intro to design and I was not very good. I wasn't the worst person in the class, but I was far from the best person in the class. And I did improve, um, not as much as I would have liked to, but I did see improvement and seeing that little improvement really helped. And it really helped me to learn that yes, I am going slow, but I mean, at my age, you know, going slow is just par for the course. I am, you know, like I said, late twenties. So I just, I decided, well, I guess I'm going to just have to go slowly, even though that kind of sucks because I want to do it now, but I should have started earlier. But that's my next point in this little ramble that probably makes no sense still. It does not matter how old you are. Like a lot of YouTube like audiences are around like teenage years. And if you think you're too old to start drawing now and you're like 15, oh my goodness. I wish I was still 15 and learning to draw. Like I wish I would have started to learn drawing when I was 15, like really dedicated myself to it because I would have gotten so much farther. And now I'm 30 and I'm not where I wanna be, but that's okay because you know, I still have, what, if I live to be 80, I still have 50 years left. Um, so yeah, that's totally fine. And I think my biggest block right now is what I want to draw. Like right now I'm drawing um, in the video, like a PD Piranha from Mario, which I already feel is kind of weird. Like you always hear like people who are adults shouldn't really like video game stuff. But I don't really care about that as much, like whatever, people can have their opinions. But it's mostly like the really super cutesy stuff, like a cute little like cat or like a Pusheen style kind of thing. I've kind of wanted to shy away from that because I felt like it wasn't mature enough and I should probably try to act my age. But um, I do still struggle with that, but I also realize that that's silly. Like, it's silly to think that I shouldn't be into cartoons like Steven Universe or Adventure Time because they're for kids and I'm 30 years old. Like, that's just silly. And it's totally fine to be, you know, 30 years old. So anybody out there who's listening who's like in their 20s or mid 20s, like, you are totally fine. It is totally okay to be into cutesy stuff and to want to draw cutesy stuff. Like, don't ever let anyone tell you like, oh, you're a grown woman, you're a grown man, and you are drawing Lumpy Space Princess from Adventure Time. That is a kid's show. Like, just tell them, okay, whatever. You know, you can be joyless and not have any fun in your adult years. Like, you know, do you do you. But um, anyway, I guess I should start wrapping up, even though this kind of got away from me. I had a little list of things that I wanted to say, but I, I think I even skipped a couple of them. But anyway, um, my main point, if you got this far, was to just draw every day. It does not matter if it is terrible. It does not matter if you think it looks good when you first draw it, and then, you know, two days later you look at it and you're like, oh, like, why did I think that was good? Or if you regress. Okay, so big thing. Sometimes you will be drawing and be doing so well for any amount of time, you know, like a two day period or even like a two month period, you'll be doing so well. And then the next day you'll draw something and it'll just be like absolute garbage and absolute crap. And you'll be like, what the hell? <laughs> like it is, there's nothing more discouraging than drawing something you hate after, you know, multiple times of drawing something that you love. Um, so yeah, I guess I really should wrap up now. Um, 
Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you next time. See ya!